8.30 a.m. here in Melbourne, Australia, and the gates do not actually open until 9 a.m., but it's a fantastic opportunity for me to grab the camera and give you a little bit of a tour around the facility as it's basically completely set up now. There's a couple of little bits of uh, polish and um, spit and polish to go to get things 100%. But in reality, the venue is pretty well completely set up now. So I figured it'd be a fantastic time to take you guys around. Let's go have a look at it. I'll switch this camera around. All right, here we go. So as you've seen before, this is the entrance is where you'll come in and either show your prepaid tickets or purchase new tickets. You can also pick up the brand new, incredible design by Taron Chillard himself, Underwater Pet Expo 2022 t-shirt. And you can also get a free Underwater Pet Expo 2020 t-shirt with the purchase of a new one. Or you can buy the old ones for 10 bucks each. If um, that's what you're into, that's all good. You can get yourself an absolute bargain now. I'm not sure how this will come up on camera. Oh, it looks pretty good. This is our uh, UV uh, interactive art expo and um, it's turned out absolutely awesome, done by a local artist and reefer. We've got some wicked paintings in here from uh, Morning Rob, we'll see you a bit later today. Check out this uh, seahorse here. Come down here, we've got some wicked triggers and stuff there. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, some awesome anemones here with some clownfish, some zoas, some, uh, looks like some mushrooms, some, uh, yeah, some, Various mushrooms, in fact, there's some cauliflower there posing as a coral works a treat. We've got some starfish, we've got uh, some sea fans, some more corals, some tubes. Over this way, we've got some, some scollies uh, coming in over to the corner here. Let's see, there's even more over here. We've got some uh, freshwater items here. So we've got some discus paintings and some uh, freshwater plants. We've got a uh, pretty cool uh, lionfish there. He turned out really awesome. And like I said, it's kind of hard to show how much these are popping on uh, camera, but uh, I can assure you in person, these things are uh, glowing, which is really cool. As am I with my uh, white t-shirt and shoes. Got a, uh, oh yeah, there's that uh, scully garden there with a couple of zoas and fungias, torches. This little zoa garden here looks super, super cool. I wish I could get uh, zoas that bright in my tank. Got a nice uh, UV uh, painted uh, picture here. We've got, uh, let's see, I think this is this is a seawater one. We've got uh, some some squid, we've got some turtles, we've got uh, some butterfly fish, we've got a big uh, emperor angel over here glowing away in the lights. We've got a uh, wicked little Monty cap going on here. That's so, so cool. Check out this, uh, pretty sure that's an anemone there. Check it out, that's a full Colorado sunrise uh, anemone there. This beautiful painting here with uh, gorgeous uh, jellyfish there just glowing away. Some more Monty cap there. We come over to some red Monty cap. Some acros looking sweet as you come into another painting here, looking an absolute treat. Anyway, we will exit the darkness and come out into the light. This is some of the uh, spit and polish that we need to tidy up. Still, we've got a little bit of uh, boxing there from uh, last night and a uh, hose over here we need to tidy up. But um, I was adamant on getting the camera out before too many people got here so I could take you guys around. This is the back end of um, A1 Aquarium here. So these guys have got a nice little uh, retail set up here. We've got some cool freshwater systems here, some plants, all sorts there ready to go. The lights are not on yet, but uh, they're coming up on camera just fine. You can see some cool things there. No shortage of uh, dry goods there as well from uh, Eheim, Aqua Vitro, into some uh, test kits, Jag Aquatics. We've got uh, coral essentials items there. Over here, we've got the sea cam from their uh, skimmers to their prime and things like that. Some nice little uh, beta tanks for people looking to set up a tank today. These are probably gonna be uh, the easiest thing to pick up and carry out, which makes sense. But uh, if you're not looking to uh, purchase a tank, if you're just wanting to have a tank, you can come and visit the guys at Aquarium Leasing Specialists who have got some of their tanks on show here, which again, the lights are not on at the moment and <laughs> we've got the man himself here, nice and early. <laughs> um, you can get these set up in your home or business and the team will uh, come and set them up for you, stock them, maintain them, everything you need. You can come and chat to them at the Aquarium Leasing Specialists booth find out what's involved in uh, making that happen at your home. Come across here to the PIAA, the Pet Industry Association of Australia. These guys are here ensuring that our pet industry remains viable, that we're staying within the laws and that uh, they're a bit of a voice for us in that uh, government space. So they're doing everything they can for us. Over the back here, we've got uh, amazing Amazon. These guys have unpacked as much as they can right now. Looks like they've still got a bit of stock back there, which will uh, keep them busy later on, no doubt, but they've got uh, some fluval pieces here from uh, their lights, whether they be freshwater marine. They've got some beautiful uh, beta tanks there, some canister filters. Um, they've got some bioscape items over here as well, which are super cool. I do like those in the freshwater space. Check out this tank here with the uh, false floor on it. Give a wicked, wicked little look to it, that's for sure. And then they've got uh, their sort of light bulb shaped ones and cylinders. 
Super, super cool. Over here, I nearly forgot my man Nick who came all the way down from Queensland and he's representing one of his uh, sponsored YouTubers who did design this year's t-shirt, Bodgy from Australia. Make sure you uh, do scan that uh, QR code there and get in on his YouTube channel. Does a fantastic job, both freshwater and marine. And then you've got Nick here with some gorgeous fish, coral, he actually does reptiles and other things as well, as you can tell by aquarium, oceanarium, and terrarium. The lights are not on in his beautiful Red Sea Reefer yet, but this guy has brought the heat with some crazy, crazy corals. Despite the lights not being on, you get a pretty good look at, uh, we've got some big gonies there, we've got some little gonies up here, we've got torches up the back, we've got no shortage of hammers across there, we've got uh, trackies, we've got deshies, we've got the cynarias, we've got lobos, we've got ricks, frog spawns. Lots of goodies there at Nick's booth. Make sure you come and see him. Up along the back wall here. G'day Craig, good to see you mate. We'll catch you a little bit later. Thankfully now the roads are easing up. Across this section here is actually one distributor called Pet Pacific. They're representing Red Sea in the corner here, Jewel, Fluval, and then Bioscape. So we'll have a quick look at the Red Sea. You can see uh, they've got all their treasures in here from a Red Sea tank, Red Sea skimmer, Red Sea roller mat, Red Sea doser, all the treasures. And of course, then the Red Sea lights, Red Sea wave maker. And they've got all the information on their tanks. You can have a look at them. You can see their lights. Have a good look at all the products, their salts, their range all of the uh, products there. So you can uh, check that all out and speak to the experts. We've actually got the uh, Australasian distributor here. So um, make sure you come and see Lee. He is the expert with everything Red Sea. And uh, if you are looking to purchase, Nick here will be able to um, sort you out with everything Red Sea. Coming in here, the Jules display looks quite nice. Jewel, as you can see here, got a pretty cool range of uh, bow front tanks, not something you see all that much anymore, but if you are chasing a bow front tank, the Jewel looks like the uh, brand of choice. So there's plenty of options there. They've got some of their uh, backgrounds and things like that. We've got canisters. Coming across into Fluval, we've got all of their range here from uh, the Fluval tanks. We've got canisters, we've got power filters, we've got their soils, carbons. I was having a laugh with the guys yesterday. The uh, Fluval uh, beta tank here with this uh, model pictured on there looks a lot like the uh, beta sitting in there. He's a little bit scared at the moment with the light just turning on, but um, I think they've done a fantastic job of finding a beta that matched the uh, one on the box perfectly, which um, they tell me was pure coincidence, but uh, it's too close to believe. So <laughs> let's go have a look in here. This is a beautiful little tank here. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the round shape of it, neat little light on it. And then have a look at this paludarium here. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this uh, rustic sort of uh, light in there. Just as a bit of uh, space to hang plants from. Looks an absolute treat. And then uh, let's have a look at the bioscape section because uh, these guys just, you know me, people out there, I'm not a freshwater guy, but every time I see these bioscape tanks, I get excited. And why wouldn't you when you see things like this? Have a look at that beautiful setup. These all set up yesterday, mind you, yesterday or the day before. Still got a little bit of uh, moisture on there. The guys will clean that up and um, even got SpongeBob hiding out in there in his little uh, pineapple home. If you like uh, sort of succulents and things, have a look at that. I know my wife would absolutely love that setup. So. Maybe I'll see if I can get this one out of their hands by the end of the weekend, because it looks wicked. And then if you're a bit of a Star Wars fan, I think you'll probably recognize these little dudes. They've got just a little bit of moss planted on there now. That will obviously take over as uh, time goes on. But uh, then they've got all these little bulb systems here, these little closed ecosystems, crazy, crazy setups. Of course, they've got all of their products that um, can make, uh, make it possible for you to, to set up that in your own home including some of their larger setups here and uh, their CO2 tanks and generators, things like that. All right, over here we have the Aqua Depot set up and the uh, Aqua Plant Culture. Aqua Depot here representing a number of brands from uh, their aquarium, sorry, Aquatic Life RO units, including the uh, booster pumps, which you've got all the connections to make your RODI requirements as easy as pie. We've got uh, Neptune Apex with their range of products here. This one I know is gonna get a little bit of attention. This is the uh, Kamoa, oops, sorry for the camera movement there. Try and get that one back under control for you. This is the Kamoa, <laughs> now it's gonna go down. We've got the uh, Kamoa uh, automatic alkalinity tester there. Nicely lit up by a uh, Tunzi light there. We come across into the uh, Kamoa range here. So we've got all of their uh, ATOs, RO setups, their automatic water change pumps, continuous dosing pumps. We've got uh, their dosing pumps. Down here, the automatic water change. This is a couple of new products here. Uh, this is a, a stir, automatic stir bar, and then you've got a, a micro pump that sits neatly on top of that. That's got a 
dosing pump built into it can be controlled with the uh, stirring motor, which is pretty cool. Coming across the GHL, you've got their uh, Mitras lights there, one of the best LEDs on the market. Alan, yes, we will see you soon. Looking forward to it, mate. We've got all the Prophylux items there. Um, I'm probably not gonna say too much about the GHL because you know my experience with it, but uh, if GHL is your thing, you'll find it here. Coming across here, we've got uh, some of these beautiful uh, planted aquascaping tools and items you would need to make that happen. And then you go into the uh, aquatic sorry aqua plant culture section of their booth where you've got all of the beautiful plants that they grow super super nice indeed in fact we'll come out now and um, as i trip over there our vacuum cleaner have a look at this tank here gorgeous setup there still got a little bit of cleaning up to do or clearing in the water but uh, that will be crystal clear in a couple of hours and have a look at this gorgeous paludarium here with a little fog motor in the back there just absolutely angelic now we're about a quarter of the way through the, <laughs> through the expo. And we've got Aqua Premium here. We have this gorgeous setup here showing all of their products from uh, Polyfilter to Aqua Eel or Aqua L, Marine Pure, JBL, showcasing all of their products in the uh, one system there. You've got some of their canister filters down the bottom here. We come over here, you can see their, um, their tank set up there, which is absolutely gorgeous. When the lights come on, you'll see how beautiful that scape is. Got uh, this beautiful little pedestal system here. Some of their smaller tanks, which make it easier for you guys to take them home. You can chat to the team here about Royal Nature, the salt that I recently did a video on. You can have a look at the New Life Spectrum uh, range of pallet foods. These things are absolutely incredible, particularly their probiotics pallets. I quite like these ones. They've got uh, some dormant bacteria in there that actually helps clean itself up if the fish don't eat it. And then we've got their uh, range of uh, what do we got here actually? Easy Life, yeah, yeah, this is a antibiotics, um, super popular stuff. In fact, I know people that swear by this product here. Very, very popular indeed. In fact, they might need to get some of that into uh, this tank over here and that'll clean it up, have it crystal clear in a matter of minutes. Come on over to Lamb, the man who uh, has brought his tent of uh, fun. The lights are just coming on in there and uh, you will find no shortage of the lights. Literally have just been turned on by Lamb himself. You will find no shortage, there he is. Uh, no shortage of uh, corals in here. Lamb is known for his LPS extravaganza and um, he has brought plenty here. I don't have a filter on the camera, but uh, just trust me when I say there is hammers that uh, cover all colors of the spectrum. This uh, mottled yellow here is absolutely ridiculous. You've got some toxic greens, you've got golds, you've got all the things there. You've got recordias, torches, more recordias, more torches, some absolutely ridiculous uh, We've got Arnia saying hi to Lamb on the uh, live stream. So uh, Lamb, good morning from Arnia. Coming over here, we've got uh, Chalice. We've got some crazy scollies. In fact, we've got scollies the size of Deshies. Deshies the size of scollies. We've got uh, some more affordable items, not just all high end. We've got uh, some Monty Caps and Blastos. Uh, that we do have no shortage of high end as well. So um, even got a Pikachu in there, not the Pikachu Acro, but uh, Pikachu himself. Come and chat to the team today if you're looking to score some beautiful candy for your tank. And the team also have no shortage of freshwater items here. They're running a special on some uh, freshwater shrimp packages here. All the items you'd need to set up a gorgeous shrimp tank. So um, be sure to come see the team at Fish Our Friends. All right, moving on over this way, we've got the Cade booth, which uh, we just see the uh, Knicks team rolling in. They're going to go check out their tank. We've got the Cade booth here, which have a huge presence at the show. These guys have a heap of new products that are coming out in November. So um, you will see them all here at the show from uh, this beautiful, uh, completely set up. Have a look how nice this is. Again, the lights are not on, but um, it is absolutely stunning, this uh, Cade Reef Mini. Beautiful tree, four clowns in there, two pair of different clowns. And um, we've got uh, uh, two pair of clowns and I think I saw an angel fish in there as well. Yeah, there he is, beautiful, lovely angel. And then we've got uh, their peninsula systems here. You've got uh, their frag tanks, which is the shallow systems over into uh, their, just their classic series of uh, tanks. Got the uh, new white cabinets. We've got, uh, let's have a look at this one here. Beautiful freshwater system. Check out all these uh, neon tetras in there. Someone's gonna tell me they're not neon tetras, but uh, roll with me guys. I don't know freshwater, but they look like neon tetras to me and that tank looks absolutely gorgeous. Got their uh, highly anticipated reef desktop mini here. Complete setup there. You got skimmer in the back. You got ATO reservoir down on the bottom. Everything you can need. And um, Adam, the man himself will be here. You can come and chat to him about what K tank's gonna suit you and your home. All right, bear with me. Yeah, how are you doing there, man? They're guppies. Uh, some of them are guppies. They're not all guppies. 
have a look in there. Yeah, there's a couple of guppies, but look at all these guys. They might not come off the camera. Surely they're tetras. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to give me a little bit of credit. I know about 3% of freshwater. Um, well, maybe not, maybe 0.3% of freshwater fish. Let's head on over here to Aquariums Australia that are representing so many brands here. We've got uh, Octo, we've got Max Spectre, we've got Fauna Marin, we've got uh, ADA, and uh, we've got just a small uh, little uh, nano uh, skimmer there. This thing's about as, well, on the box, it's considerably taller than me, but um, it'd be a good five to six foot tall skimmer. Uh, <laughs> just in case you want to set up a little system at home. Got uh, all the Max Spec products in here from uh, their biological filtration skimmers, wave makers, uh, tongs. You can see the uh, Max Spec lights over here. No shortage of the Fauna Marin uh, products, so you can chat to the team about uh, getting onto balling lights and their products. Over here, what have we got here? I don't even know what this is. There's got some, some tanks that you could possibly plant some things on in the middle there. I'm going to have to chat to George to find out what that is a bit later. We've got all of the uh, Octo skimmers here and pumps and wave makers, so you can chat to the team there, learn about uh, the features and which pump's gonna work best for you. For the freshwater guys, we've got the ADA range here, including their um, absolutely impeccable freshwater scaping tools. There are supplements and um, soils, all things like that. Uh, beautiful tank over here, this is an ADA tank, looks an absolute treat. Uh, let's see what else we can find. There's a little setup here. This is gonna be another ADA system with the. Uh, the lights, we've got uh, this interesting little back box going on here in their tank as well. Heading on over to the Delua team who have uh, just arrived and putting the final touches on their booth. We've got uh, all sorts in here today. In fact, so much more than I can cover, but um, obviously got their lights, we've got their skimmers, got their pumps. And then we have this new range of SAS products, which SAS stands for shrimp. Serious about shrimp, that's what it was. Totally had a mind blank. Serious about shrimp, you're gonna see all of the products there. So if you are interested in shrimp, you can come and chat to these guys here because as the name implies, they are serious about them. So you're gonna get the best advice and uh, ensure that your shrimp live a happy long life and showcase their best colors. But uh, yeah, Delua, no, short of, uh, no shortage of things, including uh, their scaping products from JAG. In fact, we've got a uh, JAG aquatics scaped tank over here. Again, the lights are not on, but uh, Check it out, mate. We've got more neon treacherous in there. See, I know something about freshwater fish. And then over here, we've got a great white skimmer running so you can see just how quiet it is. And we've got a nice little marine system here. Again, with the lights off, but uh, some beautiful corals in there. All right, come on over to our first major sponsor of the event. And they brought a small little banner just for you to uh, recognize who they are. This is Nature Pets and Aquariums. These guys have recently moved. So you can see their new address there, 190 White House Road in Blackburn. Now there's a lot to take in here. We've got uh, some beautiful aquascape tanks. Have a look at this one. In fact, uh, there's another one over here. Have a look at this. Unbelievable. Can't wait for the lights to come on so I can check that out. Heading to this one, this is a dry setup and um, I love the wood in that one. That's um, absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got a few examples of some uh, scapes set up by Jag over here from uh, both marine through to freshwater. And um, of course the team, have some fish on hand. If you want to buy fish today, this is where you want to go. The guys have got no shortage here at all. Number of different fish from them. I'm not going to name them because uh, most of them are freshwater fish, but we do have guppies, a number of different guppies, great beginner fish. We've got some discus up here. We do have some uh, neon tetras, the one I do know, happy days. And of course, we've got uh, all of the aquascaping things you could require from uh, dry goods to um, CO2 supplies, plant cultures, everything one would need. We have Blake himself in here. He's about to do a live stream, I believe. Uh, make sure you get on the Blake's Aquatics. Look at that logo. The man has come repping the brand. If you want to follow freshwater stuff, this is the guy to get onto. Streams a lot, has some fantastic footage. So um, be sure to get on Blake's Aquatics. Lambs are doing the rounds. <laughs> People are starting to roll in now. Have a look at this tank here. Absolutely gorgeous. Got the Alu Magic Blaze Minis over it simply stunning scape in there, really, really nice. We've got the boss himself, Steve, rolling in, bringing in, <laughs> bringing in yet more items for his massive booth. So um, if you want to make sure you see everything they have to offer, you know where to head in, you'll find them under the gigantic banner. Coming on over to our presentation space, we do have presentations running on the hour, every hour. Uh, they are obviously no extra charge. We've got a number of uh, YouTubers, we've got some aquarium vets, we've got some experts in the field coming to chat about their journey in aquarium roofing, some of the advice um, they can give you, some of the things they have learned, some of the mistakes they have made, um, some of the things they would do differently. So a fantastic opportunity to uh, learn everything that uh, you can, because you know what this hobby's like, it's all about learning. We continually learn. 
Heading over to Aqua One now, these guys have got in their better uh, tanks here, so they've got uh, this to showcase, obviously, the betas as well, the lights are not on, but uh, to also to showcase to retail stores how you can have a nice beta system there. They've got a huge range of uh, their little desktop nano tanks, so you can have a look at uh, what's gonna suit you and your house. These tanks you can find at uh, local retailers everywhere. Um, in fact, almost every corner store has uh, Aqua One. It's very well represented in Australia. So you can have a good look, actually touch and feel the tanks as well as their dry products here. Find out exactly what you're gonna need to set up the tank that you want in your house. They've got some beautiful systems here to give you some inspiration, including this really cool, this OptiClear Aquarium. It's got fake corals in it, which I know some of you turn your nose up too, but um, it looks an absolute treat. I really love the dimensions of that tank and the sleek light on it. That would be a really cool little system. Showcasing their uh, reef sis as well. We've also got this beautiful system here, Aquasis. Quite like the sort of instant scape they've put in that. Turned out an absolute treat. And uh, we'll just let the pallets go past because it is still setup time. There isn't yet more happening. Come on over to our second major sponsor of the event. This is Oz Aquariums, which have a number of brands represented here. We've got Aquaforest, so they've got uh, the Ocean Guard tank here. Beautiful scape in that. They've got a range of uh, reef factory products on here showcasing how they work and what they do. In fact, they've got a uh, tablet there so you can see uh, all of the software in action there and how it works. Got the rest of their products up here on show. They do have the Australian representative and I believe the CEO of Reef Factory here in person for the event so you can come and chat to the team, find out how you go about building some incredible automations for your reef tank or even your freshwater tank. These products make it super easy. I cannot, uh, cannot recommend them enough. But uh, we'll keep moving on. We've got uh, Pacific Sun from uh, their uh, CO2 scrubbers, algae reactors, calcium reactors, all the items there, uh, even uh, nitrate reactors with sulfur, bubble magus here from their filter rollers, skimmers, into the uh, purple world of aquaforest here. All of their salts, supplements, foods, reactors, rock, salt. Come on over to Tropical, which is obviously very well known for all of their uh, pallet foods and they've got a huge range here both for freshwater and marine. Coming across here to a new player on the scene that's making some waves, Cheerios have got an incredible range of LED lights both for freshwater and marine. You can have a look at them here and uh, learn everything about them. Coming over to Aquario which is uh, some planted freshwater uh, items which are going to make setting up your uh, planted tank. <laughs> Bear with me as I struggle through the uh, freshwater scene but um, <laughs> you've got all your CO2, you've got your soils, you've got your shrimp foods, you've got uh, your supplements, everything you would need. And in fact, here's some of the uh, soil options down here, master soil. We'll see a little bit more of that in action over at the uh, Aquascampic competition. But uh, have a look at these uh, water box tanks here. You can see the incredible water box systems in person. You've got a big peninsula there. And we've got this massive, I think this is the Alex 7. Can't remember the exact model, but I'm pretty sure that's a seven foot water box uh, tank. Have a look at the uh, bracing on that. Water jet cut, just absolutely, absolutely stunning. So, um, and check out the stand, all aluminium. You've got a beautiful sump down there, equally nice silicon joints on that and uh, water cut uh, openings on that. So be sure to come and have a look at that water box tank in person, as well as the Peninsula. Interesting, the Peninsula sits just a touch lower than the uh, newer model. That's as it is, but uh, have a look at this system here. Now, this is a uh, new brand, as far as I know, called Lush, Lush River in Australia. Have a look at the uh, setup here. This one looks absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful scape. I know this was a fairly last minute decision for the team to um, come in and uh, set this tank up, but holy moly, it was worth it. it. Looks an absolute treat. Okay, let's keep going because we do have more to cover. The show is absolutely massive and it's getting bigger by the second. We've got uh, Aquapix here, which are huge in the freshwater world. They've got a massive, massive store here full of uh, things from uh, supplements, foods, buffers, um, treatments, everything one could need for their system. Even uh, we've got uh, filter floss, we've got uh, some dry products here. Look at this, even got baby brine shrimp sleeves, all of the stuff one could need. So come and chat to the team at Aquapix. In fact, they've got ceramic noodles, they've got got everything, they've got egg crate, they've got airline, they've got these crazy looking little uh, hatcheries, I think they are, maybe they're filters, but I think they're hatcheries. Super, super awesome range. You can see uh, some more retailers rolling in. We've got uh, Paul Tuyan coming in, bringing in some awesome artwork. We'll see that in a second. Over here, we've got uh, Easy Caves. Now these guys are a fairly new player on the scene. They make some awesome Aussie made breeding caves here and you can see them in person. You will have seen them online or if you haven't yet, you will soon. 
but you can come and see them in person, chat to the team, find out everything about them, work out how you go about making breeding. Things like plecos and that in your tank, an absolute dream. Makes it super easy to get them, get them in, out, clean them, do what you need to do. So um, come and chat to the team. Jeffrey, the doors open at 9 a.m. today, uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Hopefully that helps you out, man. Coming across here, we've got Acaristic down from Sydney. Got a small amount, <laughs> they've got an absolute army of Seachem products here. No shortage of things there from um, Excel to Prime to Flourish. We've got uh, API master test kits. We've got uh, glue down here. We've got uh, some plants they've brought in. All sorts of things there. We've got uh, Red Sea products from uh, Coral Nutrition, Aptasia X, CVE Plus. And then uh, of course they've got some uh, filters and things like that. Over here, we've got the Deer Park Aquarium. Now, this is where you'll find they're going to have uh, copepods, phytoplankton, all locally cultured here in Melbourne. I'm going to have a little video showing on how that operates. Coming over into the uh, Sea Torch range here. Now, we've got the near on the full range of Sea Torch products here from uh, tanks to lights to light bars to skimmers, calcium reactors, big, small. You've got pallet reactors, you've got fluidized media reactors, you've got uh, dosing containers, filter stock holders, all the way through to a sump, and it's all priced, it's all available to buy. If you're looking for a Sea Torch product, you can pick it up today. And then, of course, if you're looking at Sea Torch products, you're possibly interested in uh, corals as well, and uh, Deer Park Aquarium, we've brought no shortage here from uh, some gorgeous frags. Obviously, lights are not on, or oh, they are just coming on right now. I don't have a filter though, Mark, so uh, don't stress too much. <laughs> he wants to wake them up so we can uh, see them all in action, but um, it's going to look fairly similar without the filter. But uh, I can tell you we've got some crazy Recordia here. We've got some Xenia for those of you out there looking for that beautiful, easy to keep moving coral. Some stunning uh, morphs here from, uh, looks like uh, some gold spots, maybe interstellars. You've got uh, Supermans, you've got uh, possibly a Deadpool there. Again, we'll have to wait for the colors to come, uh, the lights to come on a bit more and wake them up. You've got the green star polyps, you've got blastos, you've got some acan frags, you've got goni frags. Check out these goni or bernardoporas here. Absolutely stunning pieces and then some big red gonies there. You've got uh, some gorgeous little uh, biscuit starfish here. Always, always popular. Everyone loves a biscuit starfish. You've got the uh, torch, you've got hammers. In fact, you've got a lot of torch and hammers here. You've also got some X demo tanks. These tanks brand new for the show. 500 bucks, they do not want to take them back to the shop. So um, you want to pick yourself up a tank and then fill it up with corals like that. Come and speak to the team. Over here, we've got some crazy anemones in here from uh, some gigs to uh, bubble tips. Bubbles, my apologies, all bubbles. <laughs> we've got uh, some hammer frags, we've got some chalice, we've got some uh, scollies in there. And then in this section here, we get a quick sneak peek, but you'll see a bit more of it later. The very talented Paul Tuyung Tran has his ever iconic 3D UV interactive artwork there. I personally have one of these in uh, my, uh, my home above my computer and they look absolutely awesome. Come and see the man in the uh, disco tent, he will sort you out. Let's keep on rolling, still more to show. Over here we have Newtown Aquarium. I've got to keep an eye on the time because uh, in an hour the doors will open and I still have a bit of work to do. Newtown Aquarium, they've got no shortage of stuff in here from uh, fish to plants to uh, supplies, foods, dosing lines. So much here from, uh, looks like a lot of baiters in here. Some stunning baiters, look at these. Absolutely gorgeous, just flaring up for the camera. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. We've got our plants over here. We've got uh, some sort of uh, guppy, looks like maybe female guppies. <laughs> Test my knowledge on them. We've got, uh, I think these are cichlids. Let's roll with that. We've got uh, some more guppies here. We've got a variety of different uh, small fish. Over to mollies, I believe. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Yep, yep, lots more freshwater fish. I don't know, but uh, they're all looking gorgeous. And um, down here, uh, I think these guys are angels. Super, super cool. And of course, you've got uh, all of your vines and dry woods and stuff if you want to set up some uh, aquascape tanks. And then uh, in the front here, you've got uh, both some plants you can buy for uh, setting up an aquascape tank. And of course, an example of an aquascape tank. And another one. This one's got a wicked little uh, waterfall going in on it. I'm not sure how it's going to come up in person, but um, I'm super keen to see how that looks when the lights are on. Heading over here, we've got Fish Fuel & Co. These guys just putting the final touches on their booth now. Be able to come and chat to them about uh, all of your fish food requirements. As you can see, made in Australia, make frozen fish, frozen fish food, turtle and reptile foods. So um, come and chat to them about uh, getting the best nutrition for your fish. Over in this corner here, we have Aquatico, which have a huge, huge booth 
Um, no shortage of products here. Got some wicked, wicked aquascape tanks in here. This thing's super intriguing, just bobbing up and down. I'm not sure if it's a CO2 diffuser or it's a little uh, surface skimmer, but whatever it is, it, um, it's cool. I love it. I did see these tanks with the lights on and they look absolutely ridiculous. And there's so many of them to look at. I love the little paludariums here, a couple there. The guys have got uh, some massive tanks as well. You think this one's big, then you scroll across to this one. Huge, huge tanks. Got some plants. We've got uh, some baiters back there. We've got uh, no shortage of tanks themselves. We've got um, all of the products. These guys are local, uh, local uh, retailers. So if you don't see something you're after here, or you see something you're after here, but you don't want to carry it home, you can always chat to them and then uh, pick something up after the event. But uh, these little desktop, uh, I'm going to say palladariums are uh, super, super cool. Wait till the lights come on. They're absolutely stunning. Got some nice, neat little aquascape tanks here. Look at this little one in there. Crazy with the stone in there. Here's this one with this beautiful uh, LED star light on it. That one's jam packed and have a look at that little passageway through there. Super, super artistic. And um, some more stunning tanks there. Some plants ready to go. Over into the, uh, old, uh, sorry, Addicted to Fish booth. We've got um, all of their products here from their uh, vines, their uh, soils, their sands. Uh, Evolution Aqua, sorry. Yeah, Evolution Aqua with um, ASF. They've got the Reef Evolution Sea Salt there. We've got uh, Dr. Tim's, got some of their reptile products. We've got uh, Vitalis pellets here, the full range there. We've got uh, the, I've totally forgotten the name of this brand. I have used it before though, Aquarium Systems, start your tank products. You've got uh, the Instant Ocean and Reef Crystals from uh, Aquarium Systems. You've got ITC now, you can come and see firsthand the uh, UVC torch. So if you want to kill Aptasias and Majanos and even some uh, Xenia or clove polyps, stuff you don't want in your tank, you can actually sterilize it inside the tank with that torch, which is pretty cool. Uh, the team have got a nice little uh, aquascape system here showing uh, some of their freshwater kessels and of course the rest of uh, their kessel products as well. And uh, the Evo UV sterilizers, a couple of small bags of uh, K1 media there, of course. Nada, are you all right? It's all good. And then um, of course, don't forget, we'll be able to chat to uh, Andrew himself, he is here. Everything Focustronic is gonna be able to run you through some wicked automations on your tank. We've got a Dosetronic, Alcatronic, and Mastertronic here, and you can chat to the man about how we go about getting the most out of these products so that you can make your maintenance on your reef tank or even your freshwater tank an absolute walk in the park. If you can go away to events like this, and if something goes wrong with your tank, you get a message straight to your phone. Or even if something's not going wrong with your tank, you get a message telling you everything's good and you get your results. I got one just before telling me my magnesium was 1420 ppm. Happy days. So um, come and chat to the team about uh, making all that happen. Over here, you can see we've got a uh, little impromptu meeting from some of our aquascapers who will be going head to head later today. You can see some of the tanks in the background there. The guys here, I thought they'd be throwing punches trying to get the competitive advantage, but uh, they all look like friends, which is uh, super, super nice. I see um, we've got a spam bot chatting on the uh, live stream. That's always great. These are the tanks they'll be scaping in. Beautiful setups here. These are water box systems. They've all got the same soil and lights to work with and canister filters. There's 11 scapers going head to head live today. So it's gonna be super, super cool. And then you can see some of the products they've got to work with here from uh, your vines, uh, your uh, different stones, some larger pieces of wood, more different stones and some more soil over here. There's heaps and heaps of products there to work with. Heading across this way, we've got the shrimp lovers. Now these guys, as the name would suggest, have no shortage of shrimp. Now whether that be freshwater marine, got all the products there. They've also got some tanks they are selling this weekend. So if you want to take this uh, low iron glass display setup, as it goes, I think it's got all the plants, everything you need to run, $400, you can pick that up. Uh, yes, Boxer Buddy, there is car parking. Melbourne Showgrounds do charge $15 a day for the parking, but it is available and takes you right to the door. Um, there is no shortage of uh, dry goods here from shrimp lovers as well, including uh, marine and freshwater items to scape. In here we've got uh, marine shrimp as well, and I can see uh, beautiful uh, blood shrimp in there, red line cleaner shrimp. Uh, I think we've got hingeback peppermints, all sorts of uh, shrimp in there. Uh, we've got some Dymax products from the uh, team here. So there are lights, there are tanks, there are CO2 items. Uh, you've got uh, their their fertilizers, some other plant items. You've got the pellets, lights, red sea, oh, sorry, aquaforest products there. You can come and see Amanda and the team hit shrimp lovers. They will sort you out with everything you need. Over here, we've got, uh, we've got Lauren from Simple Aquariums has come all the way over from Western Australia. She's catching up with Lan. And then that brings us back to the entrance. So that is the event. 
There is probably so much more I could have covered, but uh, I do need to wrap this uh, live stream up. Let me sweep the camera back around. I do need to wrap this live stream up because I still have so much work to do. And um, we've had exactly one hour till the doors open. So um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much to those who are coming to the event. Um, it's going to be a huge event. I know we've sold 1,500 pre-sale tickets. And uh, generally, that's about a third of the people that normally come. Normally, two-thirds buy tickets to the door because both are available. So we're expecting probably a touch over 4,000 people, which is um, it's going to be a big weekend. If you are heading in, please do check the local roads. Have a look on Google Maps, Apple Maps first. Because of the flooding over the last few days, there are a few roads in the area that are still closed. I blindly followed Apple Maps and it got me here safe and sound in about two minutes longer than it would by going the most direct path. So please do check those paths before making your way in. Otherwise, you're going to get your day off on the wrong foot, which uh, no one wants at all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Oh, I should mention, I will absolutely be grabbing plenty of content and footage from the weekend here. So uh, don't think this is the end of Underwater Pet Expo. You'll see plenty of footage from all of the vendors, presentations, things like that, or as much as I can get to if uh, I don't get caught up dealing with any sort of uh, dramas that come up, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Everything's looking great this weekend. So um, I'll be sure to get plenty of content for you guys over the next couple of weeks. But if you can, make your way down. Don't be shy. Come and say hi. I'd love to see all you guys here in person. Anyway, guys, I better put this camera down and get to work. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers. Bye.